All right, super late. Dad, Dad, you ready to go? Shh, you hear that, son? That's the sound of progress. MEPs, mechanical, past, electrical, past, plumbing, past. Now that we're past all the money grabbing and the power trips, we're ready to continue and finish our epic shop bathroom build. And if you guys have been following along with this series, you know we actually wanted to be done last month. But because of all the delays, our schedule's been changed. Now we have only 17 days to finish this project. Now Jordan and I did a whole bathroom in three days. We did a whole house in nine. He thinks we can do it. I'm a little skeptical. So dude, you and me, every extra minute, every extra hour, every extra day, we're gonna have to spend right here. You may have to start getting up a little earlier. I don't know. You might have to start staying up a little later. There we go. It goes both ways, right? And remember gang, it's not just this project. We actually have two others we're trying to finish up. And in addition to all that, we're moving to Texas. So that means getting a 16 foot truck, driving over there one day, unloading and driving back the next. And we've already done that twice. So our goal right now, completely insulate the ceiling and all the walls. Then we're gonna drywall the ceiling, bring our drywall on the walls to this line. This will be backer board, because remember, we're gonna tile all the way around the bathroom. It's gonna be completely waterproof. And of course, the entire shower is gonna be backer board all the way up and tile all the way up. But take a look around. We don't have any materials. It's time to get in the pickup truck, head to the store. Let's go, man. Same thread, but so yours don't mesh, right? That one, it's M10. 10 is the diameter mm -hmm. in millimeters, and 1.5 is the pitch. So let's find you a bolt. You say 1.5? Yep. Oh, oh, I got the nut. You got it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so right on. Alrighty gang, we're back from the store. We got all our insulation, all our drywall. We were gonna get eight footers and 10 footers, but all they had was eights and 12s. So we just got all 12s. We can handle it. But when you open the building, we set the alarm off. So the police showed up in just a few minutes. They were super cool, but we didn't want to go in the building to the alarm reset. So we sat outside and chilled and watched some MLB playoff highlights. That was your solitaire game. It's that. Oh, you're playing nerds? But now it's time to start the night shift. We've already taken down all our halo lights and the grill for our fan. So it's time to start putting up the insulation. We picked up some masks and some gloves. Let's get to work. Put a lid on this thing. Is that the long one or short one? That's 55. Okay. All right, cool. Now, which side is this, Jordan? Long side. Thank you. Oh, that was, that was bad. Woo. 
Nice, man. That wasn't bad at all. You was a cut man, you putting it up. And uh, check out the GoPro footage. You saw how I was splitting the insulation, putting half on top of my pipes and wires and the other half underneath so I didn't compress it. It's a big deal. You got to watch out for that. But man, uh, you know, it's late, but I think I'm strong enough to do them 12 footers. You ready? <laughs> are you strong enough mentally? I know you got the physical capabilities, <laughs> but are you here? I'm here. Let's do Let's it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, I forgot my drywall square at home. Boom. So I'm just making a mark 77 and 3 eighths, the length of our sheet. From that end, I'm just going to connect the dots with my framing square. I just have like four cuts to make right for the ceiling, so this will be fine. I'll bring the framing square when we do the walls. Promise. That door's over the fan, dude. That's going to be fun to tape. Uh, that's good, yeah. We're looking good there. Yeah. We're hanging rock! Woo! Woo! I haven't done that in a while. I was scared at first. I thought I missed it. Looks like you can. Oh, then I can just. Uh huh. Just cut that. That's what I plan. That's right. Yeah. That was all part of the plan. That's what I did. Yeah. We were just testing it. Yeah. 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 If it's good. <laughs> no. I measured the wrong spot. Okay. And now I gotta cut this too. Oh, two inches back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let's go. It's perfect. All right, gang, it is the next day. Jordan and I just simply ran out of gas last night trying to hang eight footers, 10 footers overhead, but we're back today. It's actually Sunday evening. Our goal this evening is to get all the drywall done. That means finish the ceiling or the lid and the walls. We're coming down to this red line, remember? And this will be back aboard below. So the wall should go pretty quick. Now, if you've ever hung big sheets overhead or just a four by eight, and you've done it alone or with somebody else, you've seen this little tip in the past. Some of our past videos, we use these blocks. So they're pivoted out of the way now. We're gonna raise the sheet, swing them in, and they're gonna hold that sheet for us so we can position it and screw it off. We're gonna show you how that works. But let me hop off this ladder, get my drywall screw gun, and hang that sheet. Let's go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Nice. Nice. Can you reach this one? Can you reach? Oh, you're, you're good. You're good. Yep. That's a little easier. <laughs> and now we can adjust it. Now we can adjust it. You right. screw it off. Yeah. And we got to route out for the fan and route out for the light. I'll adjust. Get the router? I'll be the router guy. Right on. All right. Yeah, because if I'm the router guy, then we're going to be drywalling longer. You doing some patches? <laughs> That's cool. All right, let me do this fan. I'll back up a little and catch that fan. Whew, we got a roof on it. Finally, got the lid on. Whoa. Nice job, bud. All right, guys, we are fired up. We got our lid on, our drywall ceiling is done. Jordan's gonna get the screw gun and finish screwing off all the sheets. We just put enough in there to hold them and we'll go back and screw it off later. And I'm actually gonna grab our halo lights and install them. Cause remember, we're working in an, at night here. This thing's kind of glary in our eyes. It's not enough light. So I'm gonna drill the holes for our halo lights 
and the low voltage wiring is already up there. We already got our switch installed and we can turn them on right away and keep working as late as we want. And the beauty of our light layout is that they don't interfere with our tape joints. In other words, I can put the lights in and not have to pull them out again until we prime and paint the ceiling. That's gonna be epic for us, right. not have to mess with them. We can install them now, pull them out one more time, we're done. Is there a counter? Oh, this, it's going, all right. <laughs> okay, now you're making <laughs> three. Now Man, we're... you are slow. <laughs> I only get like two days of practice out of the year. Once a year, yeah. You go watch the pros, it's like, zzz, 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 zzz. yeah, like a machine gun. That was good. Cool. All right. One of my favorite tools of all time. <laughs> all right, let's go fishing in that insulation for those low voltage cables we ran earlier. Gonna make a slit in the paper and they'll be right there. Nice, when you put one in, you're like, I don't know if it's gonna be bright enough. Then you put them all in, and you're like, right on. Cool, dude. Check it out, guys. We got light. Now we can work till midnight if we want to. Now we're going to work on the walls. We're going to go ahead and insulate all the walls, and then it's about half drywall, half backer board. But we're going to knock out all the drywall tonight, have a little drywall party. Here we go. We had a damaged sheet, so we just put it here in the doorway and made it into our waist. That way we use every sheet. Router both sides, snap the top, hinge it forward, and cut it. You could route the top, but it's way up there. A lot of dust, and that's nice and clean. Good job, everybody. You were planning on using the router for this right here? Yes. All right, so I saw this trick online. All right. Been dying to try it. I, I've been waiting for like weeks to try this. Show me. Okay, so you take the corner of some drywall like that, right? And you take your box. Oh, you're using it like lipstick. Yeah, I was thinking chalk, but if, chalk, lips, there if, you if go. lipstick's your thing, then sure. <laughs> All right. It's cool because you got plenty of scrap. That's right. Some on every job. That's so. right. And then you take this, get it right where you want it, and then. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, if all those videos, okay. Show me the money. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. So that just gives you an outline and you just follow that and you're good to go, man. Let's do it. Cool. All right, nice. I like that. Yeah. Because this would have been hard with the router because we would only been able to get two screws at the bottom because the sheet has to flex. If you put a screw here, it's going to break it, right? That's right. Yeah. One, two, three. We've got the drywall square tonight, huh? Yep. By the end of the job, I'll have all the tools at this job site that we actually need. Nice. And then we're going to move them all. We are. Across state. Is that legal? Yeah. 
You just here. You just can't bring citrus plants. Right. Sick. Very flat ceiling. Super flat. Yeah. Pretty much killed it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Why do I keep doing this? All right, everybody, check it out. Everybody knows the drywall party ends at nine, and we just made it. So you saw how late it is over here, and we're in a pretty sketchy part of town, and we're in the only lit up building with an open door, probably for a couple of miles. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right. Our goal today was to have all the drywall done, and we got it done. In fact, we put up the lights like we showed you, and we even put up the old friend from Barone, the LED Bluetooth speaker exhaust fan. That looks awesome up there. Check, it does, and check it out. This is what we were hoping for. We wanted to put that up there because you can see a little bit of the light is reflecting out of the top. Jordan's gonna dim the lights for us and you can see how it's reflecting off the drywall. And I bet when all that's taped and painted white on the ceilings, we're actually gonna get a little color on the wall. I can actually see it right now. Yeah. That thing is epic. I love that exhaust fan. And man, do we feel on top of the world right now? Totally unstoppable. Drywall came out perfectly. We had what? Just half a sheet left and a bunch of little scraps. Yep. And all our joints are nice and tight and square, which goes back to all our good framing we did way back when. So when Jordan and I are working this late and busting out the work, the video quality is gonna suffer a little bit, so we apologize for that in advance. But this is day 16 by the time you see the video, 15 days to the end of this project, so we can head to Texas and start on the stud back house I feel like we got a huge bite chewed off today. Like I said, next step, back aboard, waterproofing and tile. I'm ready to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Please drywall that like button for us, smash it, drop us some of your awesome comments, ask a question, and we'll see you on the next Stud Pack video.